Welcome back to uh, Photoshop for Artists and here we are getting ready to uh, start a new image. We're going to go ahead and make this uh, 150 dpi and roughly 7 by 9. Go ahead and make it full screen. So what I'm going to do now is crop the image uh, roughly about the size I want it. And like I said in a previous uh, tutorial, you can use crop to increase the size of your image and not just uh, shrink it or crop it in. So once I'm happy with that, go ahead and hit enter and now I have the uh, rough size that I want to work with. Okay, first thing I want to do is uh, create a new layer. And I'm going to name that layer uh, rough sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick my uh, sketching brush or sketching tool. And we're going to go ahead and start the, uh, the sketch. Okay, I have my uh, rough sketch ready. So what I'm going to do now is go into my uh, layers palette. We'll make a new layer. I'm going to call this the uh, clean sketch layer. And essentially what I'm doing is going through and uh, tightening up my uh, initial sketch. And what I've done there is reduce the opacity of the uh, layer underneath so that it's easier for me to see what I'm working with on top. And the purpose of this really is to uh, remove some of the, uh, you know, the guidelines, some of the roughness, and give me a, uh, a, better, a better sketch essentially to work with, something that's easier to see, and something I can move around and play with uh, later on. Okay, what I've done is I've got to a point where I'm pretty happy with the uh, tightened up sketch. And I'm going to take these two layers and I'm going to merge them together so that I have one layer. And what I do in order to do this is um, select one layer, hold down shift, click the other, and then go into merge layers or control E for uh, the quick key. And what this is, is it allows me to have one layer instead of multiple layers. Now what I've done is taken the background and added a, uh, a solid color. And next I'm going to create a gradient of uh, a somewhat warmer hues. And uh, just click a gradient through there. Get it where I'm happy with it. Probably the lighter on top. Maybe not so dark at the bottom, at the, uh, bottom there. And again, that's in the background layer. So here I am creating a new layer. And this is under my sketch and above the background. And this is going to allow me to paint uh, under my sketch so that um, I'm never destroying my actual sketch that I have. And I'll always have that there as a guideline to work with. Now I'm going to create an, a, uh, another layer, 
and this allows me to work in a, uh, a non-destructive manner. In other words, I can experiment with, uh, in this case, actually the, uh, the shadows or the darker values of the image without um, painting over or destroying the information below it or above it. And what's also nice about this is I can be really messy with it and not try to be exact because I can just erase it without uh, destroying the image, the image or the uh, paint below it. Now at this point, what I'm doing is I'm going through and cleaning up some of the uh, roughness of the image. And as you can see, I'm going through each layer and I'm erasing part of it without destroying the uh, information I want to keep. So I'm essentially just selecting a layer, deleting the information that I don't want, and then going back to another layer. And it also helps to uh, hide or unhide the layer so that you'll know exactly what it is you're trying to uh, remove or keep. Now what I'm going to do is select my sketch and I'm going to uh, decrease the opacity of that so that it's not as prominent and uh, it's going to allow me to see my values a little bit better and it's not going to be throwing me off. And what I've done is I've locked the layer. There's actually a, a tool here that's going to allow me to lock that layer so that I'm not painting on it by mistake. And that's a really handy tool to use. And it's something to keep in mind for uh, layers that you're happy with and that you're pretty much done with and you want to move on to a different layer. You can just lock it and continue working without, uh, without ever destroying or uh, modifying that layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and select these uh, four layers and make a group out of them. And what I do for that is I'll select all four and then hit new group from layers. And it brings up an option. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, if you're working with a more complex image, you may want to name it something that you're familiar with, such as, you know, in this case, it would be uh, like an underpainting. Now what I'm going to do is do a, uh, a type of uh, like a very light glaze over the image. I've just selected a color from the background and I've set my brush opacity to about 25%. And I'm just really lightly going over uh, the darker areas of the skull. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go through and change the uh, type of layer. And what I did was I selected a light uh, lighten. Uh, once you select the uh, type of uh, layer effect or, or layer attribute, you can use your up and down arrow keys to cycle through all the different types of uh, layer effects. And that's what I'm doing now is I'm essentially just going through and selecting those. Once I find something I'm happy with, I uh, go ahead and adjust the opacity of that layer itself. And then I want to start working on the layer under it. So essentially it's like adding a... Um, glaze to your painting but again it's not it's non-destructive it allows you to work under it or above it or even remove it if you wanted to later on
Now once I have collapsed the layers down to a uh, smaller layer, I want to create a clipping layer or clipping mask. And what I do is I make a new layer. I'll hold down uh, Alt and I'll click the tiny line that separates the two layers. And that's what creates the uh, clipping mask. And what this is, as stated before, uh, it allows me to paint only on what's below that layer. So in other words, I can't paint into the background. I can't paint anywhere else but what's below that layer. Here I'm demonstrating the uh, actual clipping layer and how it works. As you can see, I've made a very bold stroke. And when I click between the two layers, or I should say Alt-click between the two, it's showing that the uh, stroke only affects the image below it. As you can see here, as I'm painting, the darker areas are only appearing on the image that the uh, clipping mask is clipping out or clipping into. This wraps up the tutorial for uh, the basics of layers. You should have a fairly basic understanding of layers. Um, this should be enough to get you going. Hopefully you'll experiment with this. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.